Welcome to Mark Tales. Today's topic is about a product which is very close to our hearts. Maggie, Maggie, Maggie. Maggie, Maggie, Maggie. हमको सिर्फ तुमसे प्यार है हमको सिर्फ अबे वो मैगी नहीं है हाँ वो लॉकडाउन है ना बाहर तो मैगी स्टॉक आउट है क्या करे ऐसा कोई नहीं होगा जिसने मैगी खाने के बाद में उसे एंजॉय ना किया हो हाँ हाँ। मजा आया मैगी मेड इज लॉयल टू द ब्रांड इन रियल सेंस द वे पेटीएम हैज बिकम इक्वेलेंट फॉर ऑनलाइन पेमेंट्स और जेरोक्स फॉर फोटो कॉपिंग वेल मैगी इज दिनोनिम फॉर इंस्टेंट नूडल्स और लॉकडाउन में अगर आपको चाहिए मैगी की बेहतरीन रेसिपीज तो नीचे कमेंट्स में दीजिए मुझे दुआ है कि मैं पुलिस के डंडों से बच के मैगी ला सकू मैगी हैज मेड अ रॉक सॉलिड पोजिशन इन आर हार्ट टूडे मगर क्या आप जानते हैं कि जब मैगी पहली बार इंडिया आया था तो उसकी स्ट्रैटेजी थी बिल्कुल गलत If they would have not made this one change in their strategy, we might not have found this special midday and midnight snack. Well, what was this change and how did Maggi win over hearts of millions of Indians? Let us find out in today's video. Welcome guys, I'm Aditya. Here at Mark Tales, we talk about interesting brand stories. If you are new to the channel do press the red subscribe button just below the video for regular updates about upcoming videos Aaj hum baat kar rahe hain Nestle ke Maggi noodles ke bare mein the 2 minute wonder Two minutes later Duniya ka nara chale raho aur dil ka ishara chale raho One lockdown later. Mola mere le le me di do. The brand Maggi came to existence in 1886 in Switzerland. At that time, industrial revolution was on the rise, and that paved way for more jobs, especially for women. Due to this, women had less time to prepare meals, leave alone healthy food. Julius Maggi, a Swiss businessman, saw this opportunity. and he launched maggi instant healthy soups which could be made very easily ki opportunity dekh ke unke andar ka entrepreneur bahar aa gaya tha kya aapko kaam pe jana hai yes kya sehat mand khana khana hai yes to maggi instant soups peete jana hai humko to khana chahiye tha na in 1947 Nestle purchased the brand Maggi and about after 100 years of its inception Maggi in 1983 entered India for the first time Nestle was quite hopeful about Maggi in India aur honge bhi kyun nahi it was a quite successful brand globally hum bhi wo hain jo kabhi kisi ke piche nahi khade hote jahan khade ho jate hain line wahi se shuru hoti hai but after the launch the product did not pick up at all folks at Nestle could not understand how their well proven success streak was not working here एकदम इन्होंने वक्त बदल दिया जज्बात बदल दिए जिंदगी बदल दी इवन आफ्टर अ कपल ऑफ इयर्स ऑफ इट्स लॉन्च द प्रोडक्ट स्टिल केप स्ट्रगलिंग द सीनियर मैनेजमेंट वाज टोटली फ्रस्ट्रेटेड द मार्केटिंग मैनेजर्स देन डिसाइडेड कि इसको चेक करने के लिए वो एक मार्केट रिसर्च करेंगे तो करना परेशान हो गए हम लोग 2.5 साल से ये भी परेशान हो गए हम भी परेशान हो गए करो फिर जब रिसर्च का रिजल्ट आया तो वो काफी शॉकिंग था When any company launches a new product its positioning is very important. Positioning defines three major things for a product. The first one is who is the intended customer who is going to purchase the product. The second one what the product is and what category it belongs to. And the third one why should a customer actually go ahead and purchase the product? For example, Complan is a product pitched as milk additive for young children which increases the nutrition for increasing children's height. If Complan does even a small error here, and I'm a Complan boy. Complan, जल्दी पढ़ने का plan. शादी करने की उम्र में इसको height बढ़ानी है. आला मोटा शाना. This is how important positioning is, and Maggie had done a huge mistake here. At that time in Europe, Maggie was targeting working women and pitching the product as a healthy meal option, and they were doing really good. जहाँ खड़े हो जाते हैं. लाइन वहीं से शुरू होती है। 
But in the 1980s, India was not like the European countries at all. If we were to take a look at the employment percentage of women in the urban areas, it was a mere 8%. Damn! Meaning only 8% women staying in the urban parts of the country at that time were actually working. So Maggie had totally messed up on finding the intended customer. Then comes the second part of positioning, that is the category in which Maggie wanted to be in. Like I said before, they sold the products in Europe as a healthy meal option. By meal, I mean lunch or dinner. Now the market research revealed another fascinating insight. हमारे यहाँ रोटी या राइस के अलावा मील में और कुछ कोई खाता है? नहीं. Exactly. जब ये बात उन्हें पता चली, तो वो लोग फिर से सोच में पड़ गए कि अब मैगी को कैसे पोजीशन किया जाए? The consumer behavior around lunch and dinner was strong and very difficult to change. While looking at other options, evening snacks was not a very strong habit amongst consumers. Also, habits are strong in grown-ups, but they can be formed easily in young kids. Keeping the same in mind, Maggie launched a full-fledged campaign on school-going students and how they come back hungry every evening after school. And her mother, who's usually a housewife, asked them to keep calm just for two minutes as she prepares Maggie instantly. The taste of Maggie was also good. So Maggie focused their appeal to mothers by saying that they can save both time and effort by making instant noodles rather than some homemade snack every day in the evening for their kids. With just this one change in positioning, Maggie had struck gold. So for two decades, starting 1990, Maggie bombarded us with campaigns all focusing around Mummy Bhook Lagi Hai and Bas Do Minute, all with the same iconic tune. In the 90s, Maggie for the first time faced competition in India when Nissin launched Top Ramen. They even had Shah Rukh Khan as their brand ambassador. Maggie was definitely impacted by this launch, but they were still able to maintain their leadership position. How? Well, Top Ramen ne wahi galti ki jo Maggie ne 10 saal pehle ki thi. They projected the noodles to adults and usse ek meal ki taraf promote kiya na ki snacks. Lunch, gentlemen. आज कुछ स्पेशल बना रहा हूँ। हम मालूम है तेरे बाप को मस्ती का चल। This goes to show that no matter how famous brand ambassador you choose, if your positioning is not correct, your product might not succeed. अगर हम करें तो करें क्या? बोले तो बोले क्या? वाह मैगी जी वाह वाह वाह। That concludes today's story. Do share your favorite Maggie moments in the comment section below. And also like and share this video if you found it interesting. Also, please subscribe to the channel so that I can bring more such interesting stories. Thank you.